the question has sort of arisen, you know, who are the patients who are gonna benefit most from endocrine-based therapy alone and don't need the chemo versus who really can benefit and benefit from and needs the chemo. Um, there have been tests that have been developed recently, like in the last, you know, several years, five to 10 years, um, the most promoted of which and the most, I think, most widely available and best known is Oncotype, um, which allows for gene testing of, of the tumor tissue itself um, to look at which patients are most likely to benefit from endocrine treatment versus chemotherapy. Um, it allows us to kind of be able to predict how likely a patient is to recur um, and how much we decrease that risk of recurrence by both giving the endocrine therapy for the recommended period of time, which is five to 10 years, uh, versus giving chemotherapy in addition to that. Um, and that test, you know, when I started fellowship, which was not that long ago, was used sporadically, not routinely. Now it's used in almost every patient with estrogen receptor positive early stage breast cancer who fits the bill for the test. Um, and it's really allowed us to kind of tell patients with a lot more confidence, yes, you need chemo, no, you don't. Um, and prevent overtreatment in that way. The scores for Oncotype testing range from zero to 100, with 100 meaning you're at the highest risk for recurrence and also probably the most likely to benefit from chemotherapy in addition to endocrine-based therapy for an estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. Um, the test has been divided into low risk, intermediate risk, and high risk groups, um, kind of on a continuum based on what your score is. So if you have a score of zero versus a score of 50, the person with a score of zero is very unlikely statistically to benefit from chemotherapy.